Hey guys, it's Zach with Zach's Muscle Motors. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Tech Talk today. Today I'm going to show you how to remove core plugs. Um, but before we get to that, I want to give a real quick shout out to a guy named Mike out of Maryland. Uh, he gave me a call. This is one of the coolest things ever. I've been getting calls from all over the United States now. It's absolutely awesome. You guys are always more than welcome to call me and I'll answer whatever questions I can help you with and, and that kind of thing. Um, I've got a small block Chevy rebuild going on right now, it's a stock build, and uh, Mike's suggestion was walk us through a, a complete build if you can, but maybe it's a stock motor. And I thought, you know, what better opportunity than right now? So that's what I'm going to do. So Mike, this is a shout out to you, brother, up there in Maryland. Thank you so much for calling me. Thank you for the tip, and I'm going to walk you guys through everything on this block that I can as I rebuild this stock block. So now, let's jump back over to the engine, and I'll show you how to take out your core plugs. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to take out your core plugs now. Uh, these are your core plugs, or what some people might refer to as freeze plugs. Um, these are where they extract sand and stuff out of when they do casting. Um, on your small block Chevys, and this is going to be the same for about any block you do as far as how you're going to do it, um, but the locations are different. Small block, you got two on the driver's side, two on the passenger side, two in the back, you can't see those, and then one on each side in the front. Uh, you can't see those. Um, the ones in the front can get a little bit tricky um, and then the ones in the back here um, on the sides also get a little bit tricky because you start kind of getting into the water jacket. Now you're going to need four basic tools. You want some kind of a center punch, good sturdy screwdriver, a hammer or a mallet, and a pair of vice grips. Okay. Now I'll show you how to kind of go through one here. And we'll pick. I guess it really don't matter. I'm going to go into the bottom, or what looks like the top here, but it's actually the bottom of the core plug. You want to go all the way against the bottom down here in the corner, as far as you can go. You basically want to break it loose. Now you might pop a hole through it like I did, and that's okay. That's totally fine. Your goal here is just to get it to rotate. Now, you'll see how it fell down in there. Don't crap your pants because it's not a big deal. You can reach down in here. And all I do is get my vice grips on it. Get a good grip. And then just peel it right out. I hope you can see that. I hope my fat ass wasn't in the way. But since it goes so fast, I'll just show you another one. This one here might get a little trickier, just because it is back, it's a little closer to this number seven cylinder water jacket back here. This one here is not wanting to break loose, so I'm going to go up here on the ridge. There it goes. Now, I kind of got it there a little bit of an angle. So what I'm going to do to try to help prevent it from going much farther is take my screwdriver. Put a little bit of a bend on it, wiggle it around. Let's see where I'm at here. Let's get an idea. I know, don't hammer on your screwdrivers. That's what the screwdriver's for, so. It's 
Sometimes you gotta put a little bit of a bend on these. They don't always wanna cooperate. We'll get it. Okay, so see now we got it loose. It's got big enough space there. I should be able to get my vice grips on it. Like I said, with this one being so close to this water jacket back here, gives you a little more trouble, but it's really not that bad. That's pretty much it. So you're going to repeat that process for a total of eight core plugs on your small block Chevy. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to finish cleaning this block. Um, and then we're going to do a cam install. Well, we already got a cam install video. Put the cam and crank and stuff in it. And then I'll show you how to, after I get it painted, I'll show you how to reinstall these. And that's, that's pretty easy too. So I guess that's it for now. All right, guys. So there you have it. That's how you're going to take your core plugs out of your block. Um, again, that's pretty standard for about any block you're going to work with. Some of them are a little easier than others, um, but it's really not that big of a deal. We did it in just a couple minutes. Uh, your first time can be a little bit daunting, but don't let it bother you. You'll get the hang of it, and then you can start changing them out like it's nothing at all. Again, thanks for watching my channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Go to Zach's Muscle Motors on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. You guys absolutely rock. If you have any questions, feel free to call me, shoot me a text message. Hit me up on Messenger through Facebook, Twitter, whatever. I don't matter. Just get a hold of me. If you like what I'm doing, again, like, share, and subscribe. Comment. Let me know what you want to see. This is your guys' channel too, not just mine. So thanks again for joining. We'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. I'm out.